Hello everyone, this is Shishi and today I am coming on to give you some inspiration. I am working with a stamp set today from AliExpress and I got an idea from another stamp set that I purchased from Concord and Ninth called the Triangle Turnabout. It looks like this and it was very popular a few months ago. It sold out. I really wanted it so bad and I got it and the concept of this stamp is to rotate your card to get like uh, like a three dimensional type of stamping with like four different colors you can do two different colors or three different colors so it was wildly popular and since that time of this stamp they've come out with so many other designs so I thought, you know, the other designs that they come out with, they're nice, but after I got the concept down, I thought I could probably do this with my own stamp collection. So I saw this stamp in the store of AliExpress, and they had something similar on their website, so I thought I would try to make something at home, and it turned out really nice after I was practicing with it. So I thought I would share with everyone how my DIY turnabout stamp set came about. And maybe, you know, you have some stamps at home that might look like mine. So what I did, and again, I'll show you the stamp. It looks like this. All I did was assemble the stamp strategically on my stamp positioning tool. You can use any type of tool you have or a stamping block that's really big and what they do is they get like some type of paper, they draw an X and then you get your card stock like this and then you position your card. They recommend you tape it down but I don't really think I need to tape it down and you just kind of put it in the middle so what I'm going to start out with I'm going to position it this way and then you get like several different colors I'm just going to use two colors today because I'm just making a two tone color and I'm sure this concept is really not new but I'm just going to lay my cardstock down and I'm using colors purple and a color by Memento called let's see this is called New Sprout like this. So what I'm going to start out with is inking up my stamps just like this. And I'm going to use some type of, well it's a, it's a shade of purple and just going to ink it up. And you can do double stamping when you have a, a positioning tool like this. And it's just going to do like a cool design. And all you do is just rotate your card stock. Just like they did with the turnabout stamps. So I'm going to give it some inking just like they did. And I apologize for the glare. It's, you know, this tool, it's shining, you know, the light's shining on it. So this is the best I could do. So I'm going to see what I got and then I'm going to give it some more ink on some spots that didn't quite ink well because I'm just using this little tiny inking stamp. And I'll link the stamps in the description box below and any other things that I got from AliExpress in case you want to pick them up when we make our card today. Okay, so this is what I got so far. And you can stop there, and this will dry like that. Then I can turn it and do another stamping. And see what I get. Like that. And you know, you can do a different color if you like. But I'm going to try for maybe just a few at the bottom. And 
and just go like that. And press it down. This is a really cool stamp set. Okay, and that's what I got so far. Okay, now I am going to take a baby wipe. And I am going to turn my paper this way and do a different color. And like I said, I'm keeping it in the middle where this X is. I apologize for the shakiness of the camera. And stamp it in this purple. And see what happens. We get a color like that, and I'm going to ink it up again. And we get that look. Really, really pretty. So now I'm going to flip it. And we're going to do some more purple towards the bottom. And see how that looks. So I'm going to give it some more inking. Okay, now we're going to see what we get with this stamping. Really cool effect. You can eat it up a second time. Looks really good there. And here you have it. Really, really cool. So, this is the panel I got with my DIY turnabout stamp by just loading up the block will the stamping tool and just turning my paper and getting different effects. So I'm just going to set this aside and we're going to make a card. Show you what we can do with it. So I'm going to get out my die cutting machine and another great thing about AliExpress is they have these cool dies that you can pick up and I got this die set I haven't showed it in a haul video but it came from this store called KW Crafts and it cuts the inner and outer 
like a, it does some stitching on the inner and outer part of the die. So I'm just going to take this die right here and I don't have the measurements but I believe it's like the die itself if I remember correctly it, it may be like a four and a half by four and three quarters so something like that because this die cutting machine is not really that big to cut out a die that's four and a quarter by five and a half you know so it you can only do like four and a half inches wide as you can see so I'm just going to position it to cut out the middle of this die and run it through I like this little tiny die cutting machine. It's discontinued now, but it it's great for cutting small dies. Okay. So we cut that little tiny gives like a nice little frame and as you can see it did the stitching right there and then I got this piece right here with some stitching so that's what that does and so I'm gonna set that aside and I also cut out this die right here and it is a hugs die it looks like this. Well, actually, it's upside down. It looks like this. And so I have um, two pieces together. And I think I want to give it an outline in this green color. So I'm just going to glue these two pieces together. Uh, my apologies, uh, my battery went dead. So I um, did go ahead and mount the frame onto the card and I also put the the layer inside the card so I'm going to do the card this way and all I did was added some foam tape to the the inside of this panel right here and all you do is just after you die cut the inner part you just match up this layer to the frame and pop it up and I also die cut the word hugs and I just did the two colors and I just gave it an outline like this and all I'm going to do right now is just uh, give it some shine with some Wink Estella like this and then just glue it onto the front and angle it slightly so that's what I'm going to do right now and give it some sparkle and give it just a little bit of glue to attach it to the card so really nice set and the design of the card is complete so I'm just going to glue this on you just don't need too much glue um, these words need like a fine tip or if you have one of those Xyron machines that will, or a sticker maker, that will help to attach your words. So I'm just going to angle this like that. And my card is complete. And just give this a little bit more glue right here. So this will go down like that and this will dry clear so you can't really see it okay and let me put this circle right here okay alright so this is the card and I did make one that was landscape like this and brown and green and purple and green so 
I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and got some ideas on how you can make your stamps just like the turnabout stamps. And I will, you know, buy from Concord and Ninth. They have nice stamps, but you know, they can be a bit pricey paying over $20 a set. But you know, this is just as nice and a little price. So I hope you'll give this video a thumbs up and we'll check out some other content on my channel. Welcome everyone. Subscribe. Take care and have a fabulous day.